Hi there, welcome to Nosh Kitchens. Um, my name is Ben, and this is my mum. I'm Joy. Joy. I don't call her Joy, I call her mum. It's, it's a bit weird <laughs> referring to her as Joy. Anyway, today we, we, we write cookbooks, and this is one of the recipes from one of our cookbooks, and so we thought we'd cook it for you. Um, mum, tell us, what are we cooking today? We're going to cook some lang, uh, some Moroccan... Lang? Some oh. lang? <laughs> some Moroc What's lang? <laughs> some Moroccan lamb meatballs. <laughs> That's a mouthful, Moroccan lamb meatballs. Yes, it is. Right. Anyway. So they're just meatballs that have got a little bit of spice, sweetness and spice. So fruit and spice. Sounds great. Sort of North African flavour. So first of all, uh, Ben is going to make the tomato sauce to go with these, and it's a super simple one. First of all, we've got six tomatoes, and then half a mug of water, three cloves of garlic, um, 100 grams of ready-to-eat apricots, some tomato puree and then at the end we'll put in some, some coriander, some fresh coriander. So once you've blitzed it, you just need to put it in a pan and just uh, leave it just to simmer for five minutes. We're going to have the meatballs with uh, the tomato sauce and some rice. So put the rice on and let, them, let it boil for about five minutes. And then we're going to chop up some courgette, just put it on the top, put the lid back on and just let that cook for another five minutes. I'm going to make some meatballs here. So we've got onion, an apple, we've got the egg yolk, some ground coriander, some cumin, some sumac, and some minced lamb. Basically, what we're going to do is just going to grate up all the ingredients apart from um, apart from the ground coriander because obviously you can't really grate that. Um, so what we've got here, we've got. <laughs> I'm just I'm stating the obvious, but someone might try it. You never know. Also, we're going to add a bit of a bit of a kick to this. We're going to put a chopped chopped chili in there, and we're just going to add some seasoning as well, some salt and pepper. We're just going to take all of this, mix it all together with our hands and make some meatballs out of it. It's not great when you've got a cut on your finger. The chilli the chili may well be hurting my, my thumb right now. Now we're going to divide this into 20 and roll them up into little balls and put them in the pan. So if you're like me and you can't divide something into 20, uh, <laughs> you can make 16 or 17. <laughs> I'm not really sure how we did that. I think we did it between um, us, yeah. But yeah, anyway, heating some oil up putting it into the pan, we're just going to pop them all in, just do them carefully, if you drop them too hard, they'll get a big flat, they'll get a flat, flat bottom, flat bottom to them, I didn't want to say that, but you just said it anyway, that's, that's cool. So this is on a medium heat, uh, we want to try and cook this through, so not, not too high heat, otherwise it will just burn on the outside, and we're going to keep on turning them as we go. Just going to chop up the coriander, put it into the sauce, and then mix them all together. Yep. Is that right, Mum? Well, we're going to plate them all up. Plate them all up. Yeah. Slash, mix them together. Slash, throw them on the plate. They get mixed up in there. Get, oh, right. Is that right? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for poking my belly. <laughs> Thanks so much for popping by, guys. Um, we've been the Nosh Kitchen, aka the Nosh family, aka something else. Anyway, um, Thanks very much, Mum, for creating that lovely recipe. We're going to eat that in a minute, aren't we? I would have thought Is that right? so. Awesome. Yes. Um, if you've liked what you've seen here today, we'd love for you to come back again. Um, click on the chicken if you want to subscribe to us. Click on the little books to go to our website, or click on the oven to go to our previous recipe, which I have no idea what it was, but I'm sure <laughs> it was brilliant. Um, yeah, cool. Until next time, guys. Have a nice day, nice cooking day, whatever. I don't know, I've just said random things now to mess up that whole flow of things, so, so I'll just stop now. <laughs>